Hi friends, greetings. In this video, I show you how to make this beautiful pattern. This is very beautiful and very easy to make. Here we have three rows of flowers. So, yes. And to make a one row of flower, we need 12 stitches. So, the number of chains you need is number of rows of flowers plus 11 plus 11 so here we have three rows of flowers so 12 into 3 plus 11 that is 36 plus 11 47 so if you want to add more flowers so add 12 uh, 12 numbers so if you want five rows then 12 into 5 that is uh, 60 plus 11 that's how it goes okay now I made 47 chains and one row of double crochets, 47 double crochets. Round 2, all double crochets with chain spaces. Chain 3, turn around, then first 10 double crochets, start with 10 double crochets now 10 double crochet then chain 1 and skip a stitch and to the next double crochet so we have a space there then continue with double crochet we do 12 double crochets. Twelve double crochet again, chain one and skip one stitch and to the next double crochet. We've got a space there. Continue with double crochet again at twelve numbers. again 12 double crochet again leave a space chain one skip one stitch and continue with next 10 double crochets so the pattern goes like first 10 double crochet then a space then 12 double crochet 12 double crochet and end with another 10 double crochet so we got here we got Three chain spaces. Now chain three and turn around. And to the first four stitches we do double crochet. First four double crochet. One, two, sorry, the chain is one double crochet, another three double crochets. So totally we got chain four double crochets. Now we have to do chain 3 and we have to do puff stitches into that spaces a flower. It's 3 puffs. So we are making a puff here. 1 puff and 4 chains. 4 chains. The next puff, next puff, and again a four chain, next puff. So total three puffs with four chains. Okay, we made a flower then chain 3 and single crochet into the center of 12 stitches into the center of that 12 stitches that, that means after 6 stitches 
there will be 6 stitches on both sides again chain 3 and next repeat the same flower pattern this space one puff four chains next puff the last puff last puff chain 3 we do in the middle of the 12 stitches that is after 6 stitches do the same flower pattern into the next space also we have done 2 we are going to do the third one We have completed the three flower patterns, flower puffs and chain three and into the last four stitches do double crochet. End with four double crochets. End of the round, uh, end of the row, four double crochets. Okay, then again chain 3, turn it, and first 4 double crochets, and next row is we have to do double crochets into the, these two spaces, chain spaces. So, Two chains, six double crochet into that space. Six double crochet into that space. Six double crochet then chain one chain one and to the next loop again six double crochets six okay Six double crochet each with a chain space in middle. Now three chains and continue with double crochet into the next loop. One, two, three, four, five. Six and six a chain space again six double crochet continue the pattern the six double crochet chain space six double crochet chain 3 and into the again into the next flower do 6 double crochet now the last double crochets chain 2 
and end with four double crochets. So the flower pattern is complete. Next row we have to repeat the third row that is the puff row. Okay, Start with four double crochet and we have to do the puffs. Four double crochet then chain three and into the space on that six double crochet set for that space we are doing repeating the same puffs in this space okay three puffs in that chain space we are simply repeating the third row First puff, chain four, second one, again chain four. Now chain 3 and single crochet into that chain space, into that chain. Again next set of, I've completed that puff stitch and chain 3, again 3 puffs into that space. We came to the last space, last flower. Chain three, and end the row with the last four double crochet. Chain three and double crochets, four double crochets. We have completed the fifth row. Now going to the sixth row is simply the repetition of fourth row. So uh, just like I told you, it's very simple. It's repetition of two rows. Just simply two rows of two rows. There is one row of puffs and the other row of uh, double crochets. That's it. Just, uh, just repeating the fourth row. The sixth row is the repetition of fourth row. It's very simple but it's a very beautiful pattern. Thank you for watching.